he really wanted to prove to you that he is clean now. Yes, good morning again, George. And he claims no drugs right now, but we did talk a lot about his past drug use. Charlie Sheen has never been more candid about it and makes no excuses for it. He also shared with us some of what really happened that night last month when he was rushed to the hospital after a drug-filled night with porn stars. Your anger and your hate, I think, is coming off as erratic to people. Passion, my passion. It's all okay, passion. your passion yes. is coming off as erratic right. to people. Right, well, you borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Yeah, because it just, it fires in a way that is, um, I don't know, maybe not from this particular uh, terrestrial uh, realm. I think some of those things that you're putting out there are making people think something's wrong with you. That's... That's up to, that has nothing to do with me, really. I mean, they, they're, they're entitled to, I suppose, interpret stuff um, as they must. Some are, a doctor of. What some are, are saying of? that you're bipolar. Wow, what does that mean? I guess that, you know, you're on two ends of the spectrum. Wow. And then what? What's the cure? Medicine? Make me like them? Not going to happen. I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Now what? If I'm bipolar, aren't there moments where a guy like crashes and is like in the corner, like, oh my God, it's all my mom's fault. Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Move forward. Have you had any celebrities reach out to you to oh, try yeah. and help you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like radical people like Sean Penn and Mel Gibson and Colin Farrell and just radical people. And, it's, and they're not telling me what to do. Who gave um, you the best piece of advice? Well, they didn't give me any advice. And, and, and within that, there's great advice. Just, it's just, it was just love. And so, you know, um, just to, just to, See, it's oftentimes says unknown, but occasionally, you know, a giant marquee name comes through on your caller ID and it's like, <laughs> winning. When was the last time you used? Used, uh, see, I don't use, I use a blender, I use a vacuum cleaner, I use, uh, you, know, I, you know, household items. Uh, when was the last time I ingested or took drugs? Yes, when yeah, was the last time you a, took drugs? Such an AA, stupid um, expression or term. Uh, I don't remember. I do not remember. A week ago, two weeks Maybe ago, two ago, days ago. six weeks, I don't know. I don't know, it was a couple of days before the suits rolled in and said, change it, change everything, we're shutting you down. Tell me about the last time you took drugs. The last time I took drugs, um, I probably took more than, than, than anybody could survive. You know. What are um, we talking about, how much? I don't know, man, I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed, I have one gear, go. How so, do you survive that? Because I'm, because I'm me. Because I'm me, I'm different. I just have a different constitution, I have a different brain, I have a different heart, I have a different, you know, I get tiger blood, man. You don't worry that you're gonna die when you take that many drugs? Dying's for fools. But you're Dying's only human. Energy. Now, there's certain blends I will not, I will not entertain because that's how people go down. I'm, I'm, I'm too, smart, too smart to do that. So, you know, I'm sorry for the guys that that happened to, but you know, you should have uh, read the directions before you showed up at the party, you know? So you have, actually have a strategy about how you take your drugs? Um, no, I just have a couple of rules. I don't know if it's a strategy. You're clean right now. Sure. When, so is this better now? Your life now, clean <coughs> it's, with your children. Yeah, is no, it it's better perfect. than it's being better. on drugs? It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. No, it doesn't it doesn't compare. They're whole different different realities, you know? There's great things about both, but what I'm harnessing now is um is 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 absolute you know focus. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. It's exciting. I've I've come back from a place that you know, people can put labels on it and they can figure all this stuff out. They can try to like normalize it, normalize it, boring, stupid, you know, and that's fine, but, but for me, it's, 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 I've just answered to a higher calling, and it happened in the blink of an eye, and I'm totally excited by it, you know? Are you worried you're going to relapse? No. Why? Because I'm not going to, period, the end. <laughs> but how do you I blinked know? And I blinked and I cured my brain, that's how. Everybody has the power, just because everybody, you know, can't is the cancer of happen. Mm -hmm. Can't is the cancer of happen. I can't do it. The Nike slogan doesn't say, just try it. Oh, okay. Just try it. No, just do it, man. But you love to party. I mean, what's not to love? How do Especially you? Especially when you see how I party, man. It was epic. The run I was on made Sinatra, Flynn, Jagger, Richards, all of them just look like, you know, droopy-eyed, armless children. When you look back at the last time you used drugs, mm -hmm. do you, are you disgusted with yourself? Or do you no, think, how no, could I'm, I have done that? I'm proud of what I've created. It was radical. You're proud of that party moment? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Drugs? No, I, I, Why would I, you be? Because I, I, I expose people to magic. I expose them to something they're never otherwise going to see in their boring, normal lives. And I gave that to them. I may forget about them tomorrow, but they'll live with that memory for the rest of their lives. And that's a gift, man. One of the women said that she was afraid she might OD. One of the women who was here. What's that got to do with me? You're showing them the party. I just, um, you know, that's got nothing to do with me. That's mm -hmm. all on her. And, and, and if, if she does, I'm sorry. 
you say that you like the feeling of being on drugs and it's it's not exciting anymore. and fun. Not anymore. It bored the hell out of me after a while. I was like, okay, it, let's try something else. How can anyone believe that you will stay clean, given uh, your track record? I'm not interested in what people believe. I'm, I'm interested in what I believe, and I believe in the truth. And that's what, and that's what rules me. And Charlie Sheen did end up taking that drug test while we were in his home. He passed the urine test, but also took a more comprehensive blood test that would, would reveal if even more drugs were taken.